Welcome back to Center Stage, everybody. I'm talking with Don Zimmer. You end up in the dugout in Colorado as a bench coach of, of Don Baylor, and then you end up retiring in the middle of a game. Why? Did you have this sudden urge to retire at that point? Well, first of all, Don Baylor asked me to go to Colorado with him to be his bench coach. And uh, Don Baylor at that time never managed a game in his life, I don't think. And, you know, he needed help. Who wouldn't for the first time? And uh, Don Baylor and I got along beautifully uh, for two years. And uh, going into the third year, uh, I, I kind of got a feeling that I wasn't needed anymore, which was all right with me. But uh, it kind of wore on me a little bit to where I, I, I went home one night and I told my wife, I said, uh, I'm quitting, we're going home. She said, that's, I don't think that's the way to go. She said, you want to go home? We'll go home. Just tell them you're retiring. It sounds better. And I listened to her. So I, I said to myself, I'm going into my general manager, who was Bob Gebhardt, and I'm going to tell him that I'm going to retire on June 6th in the fifth inning. <laughs> He looked up at me, and uh, I guess he remembered me getting hit in the head, you know. He said, this man is saying that this guy's not right. He said, what do you mean? I said, just what it says. Just what I said. I'm retiring on June 6th in the fifth inning. He still couldn't figure that out. <laughs> well, now my next move, i got to go downstairs uh, to tell Don Baylor. So I went into Baylor's office, and I said, Donnie, I said, uh, I'm retiring on June 6th in the fifth inning. The reason for the fifth inning, I had my own reasoning. I didn't want to retire and, and have all the newspaper men around me after the game. Maybe the Rockies had won that night. Well, where would the media be? They'd be around me because I'm leaving. And I didn't want that. I didn't want that. I didn't want to take nothing away from the club. And in the fifth inning, <laughs> I, went, I remember he was sitting on a stool, Don Baylor was, and I put my arm around him and I, I whispered to him, I said, good luck the rest of the year, pal. And I went home and watched the rest of it on TV, sitting in the living room. Well, you end up going home to Florida, and you're, you're retired for all intents and purposes. And then I wasn't really ready to retire. <laughs> remember, I wanted to quit. Right. That was at that particular time, but now I, I use the word retirement because my wife thought that that was better, which I agreed with her. Uh, when I went home, there was a lot of jobs open, and uh, I, I can honestly say this, that 55 years, I've never had to ask for a job. Uh, in other words, I've been fired, I've been released, and <laughs> fired, you, you, you know, you think you committed murder or something uh, when you get fired. But I've been fired, but somebody always called me and offered me a job. And there was a lot of jobs open at that time, but I told my wife, I said, well, I'm not going to call for a job. I said, if I don't get a call, I'm retired, that's all. Buddy Bell called me and uh, said he was going to be interviewed for the Detroit job and wanted to know if I would come with him as a bench coach if he got that job. Mm -hmm. And I said, Buddy, that's too far down the line. I said, uh, call me back and this and that. Well, now I pick up the paper one day where Joe Torre has uh, become the Yankee manager. Now, you had never had a previous relationship no. with him. I mean, you knew him. I knew him. I managed against him as a player. I managed against him as a manager. Hi, Joe. Hi, Don. No more than that. And I get this phone call. Don Zimmer, yeah. Joe Torre. He had just got the Yankee job. The only thing that went through my mind, this man's asking me about some ball player that I might know about. That's, that's the only thing that went through my mind. He said, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing good. Uh, how's retirement? Wonderful. Uh, how's your health? Good. How's this? That? What is this guy? <laughs> he said, by the way, he said, I want you to come to New York to be my bench coach. He could have knocked, you could have knocked me down. That's the furthest thing from my mind. And I said, oh, my. I said, you just threw a curve at me. And I could never hit a curve anyhow. <laughs> and uh, I said, uh, can I give you an answer tomorrow? And Joe was very nice about it. And he says, 
You can have a week or two weeks to think about it if you want. Well, here we are, eight years later. What I don't understand, well, I, I guess I, I, I understand a little bit because I've seen it grow from not knowing each other other than professionally. You two love each other. I mean, it's like a brother, brother. I, when, when Joe got cancer and you had to take over, I never saw you so emotional. And it, it felt like that you almost felt that you were sick. It, that's how tight you've become. There's no question. When, we went to, when I went to spring training in 96 with him, in two weeks' time in Legends Field, it, it probably wasn't, it was probably less than two weeks, I come home to my wife and I said, Mom, this is going to work. I mean, it was just one of those things. How'd you grow so close together, though? Uh, well, number one, he wanted me to sit next to him and very close to him because he wants to look good looking. <laughs> We've had a great time. We've had a great time. He's a great man. What's this whole stretch meant to you? The championships and things like that. Has it been a highlight of your life? Uh, it's been a big part of my life, without a doubt, being in New York now for eight years. Uh, 96 became very big with me. Not so much for me, but for Joe Torre. I didn't know none of this. Now, you've got to remember, I played with the Brooklyn Dodgers, and we get beat by the Yankees all the time. It's down in September now in 96, and I start reading the newspapers where the Yankees hadn't won a World Series in, or hadn't been to the World Series 81. for 17 years. Right. I said, wait a minute, that's a mistake. <laughs> and then I asked somebody, no, they haven't been to the World Series 17 years. I wasn't aware of that. The next thing I read, besides Joe's brother Frank having a new heart, uh, heart transplant and this and that, now I read where Joe Torrey's never been in a World Series. I said, good golly, I mean, this is really getting interesting for me now. <laughs> and, and that's what 96 really meant to me, more so for Joe and his family than, than for me. I mean, I've been there, and I didn't realize Joe had never been there. And the idea of the Yankees coming back again has been very, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's, that's the best way I can put it. Well, when we get back, the audience gets to ask Zim some of the questions he usually gets from Tori on the bench. So stay with us.